How's the uh, how's the first week been for you in general? Oh man, it's been good. You know, it's been a good uh, opportunity to get a chance. You know, to kind of see the vets and and how you know they set the standard. Just trying to work off of them and get better every day. Uh, the one-on-one -on -one drills have some really good moments. What do you learn from them, and and how much do you enjoy them? Oh, a lot, man. I've been really trying to, you know, put a, put together a pass rush, you know, arsenal that's for me. Uh, so, you know, I kind of piggyback off guys like DB, Sweaty, you know, watch their moves and, you know, kind of tailor what I feel like works best for me, you know, kind of what I did in college and, you know, kind of develop that arsenal for me. DG was just up here talking about how he likes to pass down 12 years of wisdom to the younger guys. What's it been like having him around to just kind of watch him and, and watch the way he plays and leads practices and prepares? Oh, man, it's, it's great to have somebody that's already experienced so much stuff, man, so you can kind of learn from it. Uh, and not make some of the mistakes that he kind of told me he made when he first got into the league. So it's been great to learn from him, man. He's a great vet. I come to him all the time. You know, if I'm having, you know, some issues with something or some techniques I need to work on, uh, he's, he's the guy for it. What's the advice you got so far? Uh, just take it one, one, one day at a time and don't make the same mistake that you made a previous day. Toronto, I can ask you about your brother. You know, you're kind of following the path he wanted for you. Uh, have you thought about, you think about him during the, you know, every day, I guess, right? Oh, every day, man. You know, it's still kind of surreal to me, you know, being here. That's why I try to make the most uh, advantage of everything that I, I do. You know, this is something that was a dream for both of us when I was growing up. Uh, so, you know, like I uh, said, when I was first going through the process, you know, fulfilling that dream to him, you know, coming to the NFL, you know, it's been a blessing, but I ain't done yet, man. So, you know, just like I said, taking it day by day and trying to get better at something that I was uh, bad at the previous day. What has the experience been like so far compared to maybe expectations coming in? I mean, it's, it's been pretty much what I was expecting. You know, I think it was, I thought it was going to take a little time, you know, to get acclimated. You know, it's a faster speed, it's a different level. So, you know, just trying to uh, get used to the, the different techniques from, you know, the scheme I had in college to the scheme here. Did the speed of practice surprise you at all, or, or did you kind of know where that was going to be when it came uh, I kind of knew. I knew it was going to be faster. Um, but, you know, as, as the days went on, I feel like I've gotten, you know, more used to the tempo, you know, just being in there and uh, getting reps at it. Oh, it's good, man. I, I love going against, you know, the guys that's, that's been in the game, you know, that's been in the battle with uh, a lot of the other old linemen. Uh, get, any chance I get an uh, opportunity to get up there with those guys, I definitely hop up, you know, to get some experience with them. You think you won that rep? Uh, I, I ain't going to say if I would have lost that one. Yeah, I'm going to just leave it up for grabs that one. What's it been like being in a position group with so many veterans? You talked about BG, but it's that D-line is a pretty old group. I mean, what's it been like being the young guy in there? It's good, man, but, you know, the thing is they set a standard. Um, and, you know, all the young guys, we try to live up to that standard. You know, you got Fletch, you got BG, those guys, man, they play so hard. Um, we just try to live up to what they already done set, you know, running to the ball, you know, um, doing all the little things, you know, getting our techniques right and trying to be flawless uh, in practice. First preseason game is, is nine days away. Have you taken a moment to think what it'll be like being in that stadium and with the fans and uh, taking what you learned here? And I'll say yes and no. Um, I, I'm a guy to try to kind of live in the moment, man, and take it day by day. But um, definitely thinking about it. You know, uh, when we was here for OTAs, we got to practice in the stadium for one day, man. It was like a dream come true just walking in there, you know, seeing the stadium. But, you know, it's in the back of my head, but, you know, I really don't think about it on a day-to-day, man. I'm trying to, you know, come into camp, uh, go on the film right now and, you know, try to uh, fix some things that I did in practice today. What are your goals for this year? Uh, to get to, to work my way into the lineup uh, and just establish my role, man, whatever that role may be. Um, I tell a lot of coaches, you know, I don't care if it's on special teams, you know, if it's uh, working on the D-line, you know, anything I got to do, man. So, uh, like I said, I got great guys in front of me, so I'm working on them, and I'm competing with them. You know, I ain't just coming in like, oh, I, you know, you're ahead of me. I'm coming. I'm competing with everybody out there. So, uh, you know, that's my mindset. This rookie class that's coming in, I mean, how, how close are you guys? Um, you know, uh, you have two of them are on the defensive line with Milton and uh, Marlon. Marlon, yeah. Yeah, we're we very close, man, all of us. I feel like our whole class is pretty close. Um, you know, in the locker room, we all got a, our own little spot. So, you know, we're always constantly talking, you know, bonding, uh, getting to know each other. Um, and one thing for me in my college, I don't know about a lot of other guys, but family was one thing that um, in my college kind of was, was the main emphasis, you know, felt like you played harder if you, if you had a brother, you know, somebody that you really don't uh, talk to or know that good. So, you know, really just trying to get to know everybody, um, you know, so once that game does does come, you know, you had an extra gear to push for your brothers. Teron, what's, what's something you learned about Kenny Gainwell since uh, both of y'all got here? You he said Kenneth. Gainwell. Oh, man, he's a hard worker. Um, you know, he's a, guy, a down south guy. 
Uh, I kind of feel like we're kind of the same real country guys, man. We like to, you know, do some of the stuff like fishing and uh, some other uh, different, like, country things. But uh, he's a good guy, but I learned that he definitely likes to work. Uh, I don't know, man. We haven't got a chance to go together yet. Um, but I'm going to have to save me, man, because I've been doing it for a long time. <laughs>